हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू लारावल 11 रूल्स एंड परमिशंस लास्ट वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस हाउ टू रिमूव द पब्लिक मींस इनसाइड यूआरएल आल्सो वी आर मेड अ डेटाबेस कनेक्शन एंड वी आर डाउनलोड एडमिन थीम्स एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी रन इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कंटिन्यू लाइक अ लॉगिन स्क्रीन लाइक अ एडमिन एंड यूजर कैन लॉग इन एंड वी कैन ओपन द डैशबोर्ड सो आई कैन शो यू इन दिस वीडियो Before we can start this video, you are new in the channel or in the series, so please subscribe and please press the bell icon. So whatever content we are uploading, so always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning. And also, do you want to buy any script? Just go to our official website, errorsolutioncode.com, and you can buy it here. You can see it. And also, do you want to develop as a freelancer work? Just contact WhatsApp, Telegram, and Skype. I always prefer Skype. Okay, so let's start now. So first we can go to page login. So we need to check where do you want to put. So my, I already unzip and here is a there is a login. You can see it is a page login. So this is the coding here there. So just open like here. Okay. So before open we need to create a new controller like a auth controller. So this auth controller inside we need to pass the URL and this URL again we need to show. Because of right now I am going to routes. So the directly get slash after written view direct is written, but we don't know to do. We need to do using the controller. So let's open the terminal and we can create a new controller. Let's uh, get base here, and I can create a controllers. PHP artisan make controller make controller. What control? Whatever name do you want to like, you can do it. And after you can press the enter, so taking few seconds and controller successfully created. App HTTP controller here you can see it. What controller? Everything is correct. Okay. Now we are already there routes inside web dot php. So here we are already passing. Let's comment out. We don't want to use. So first we need to declare here our controller like use app. Whatever path you are there like this, use app slash http slash controller. Whatever folder name, this folder name, just rename and we can copy paste so we can do it very quick. And after we need to provide like a controller means class name, means controller name, auth controller. Okay. Now we need to pass here routes. Whatever we have there, so just we can do it like route get. Now, sorry, I just made a mistake. Small letter get and slash because we need to open directly. After we need to pass like a target. So what target we have there? What controller? Inside we can do it like class. Sorry, class comma and we need to provide a name. So just you can provide like a login. Okay. Now we need to create a new function inside a auth controller. Here is a we have declared like a we have provided like a where do you want to target and also a slash means we need to open like a our main page like a welcome. So just we can go to auth controller functions login and here I can make like a return. Let's copy. So we can do it very quick, like return view, welcome. Let's save these files and we can refresh the page. Error then you cannot generate error because we ever change the coding before we have make like return view directly. But right now we have change. Just go back and we refresh the page so you can see no any errors. Okay, so it's working very well. Now we need to provide here like a auth and login. First I will create a new folder. Auth and auth inside I will create a new file like a login dot blade dot php. Okay, so just we can create new folder auth and here I can create a new file login dot blade dot php. Whatever do you want to provide, you can provide path. But I just like as a professional way, so we can do it very good way. This is the reasons blade dot php. Okay, just save this file. Also save this file. Let's go back again, refresh the page so we can check. Here is a need to show blank space, so it's working very well. Now, whatever code here there for this, like a login screen, like HTML, we need to put in our side. So just open this HTML code. I already open. Just copy and I can paste here. Okay. 
just go back up and we can change here like a login permissions whatever page project name you are there you can use my project name there is a permission so i use like a permissions okay now here is already their assets folder and just scroll down so here also their assets folder let's go back again refresh the page so we can check like showing the html here but it is a not css calling this reason not look like a good so simple you can go to back to your admin themes and just copy asset folder and this folder you need to put inside a permission means your folder name of your projects just paste here so whatever content there here you can get is a css js whatever file as a library there we have put here let's go back again refresh the page so you can see the html working very well no any issue okay now here we can change like email here we can change like password remember we can leave it and like this we can remove we don't need and here you can change like the permissions okay whatever project name you are there you already did just go up and here we can change like permissions and we don't want to need logo so just you can remove here is their index.html also you can put like a url let's close and open again and i don't need like this file so just remove means close not remove just scroll down we also don't need so just you can remove also we don't need just remove and here also we need to provide a full path so just you can search and you can put it like a find assets sorry and i can change it directly like url and here i can also put like a slash and replace all so automatic update every place you can see it here okay so let's go back again and we can check it and we don't want to need developer by just remove don't have an account so just also need to remove i don't need okay just scroll down you can see it proper let's go back again we can refresh the page so we can check it's working not working i just go back again refresh the page so control u so you can see it like a permission assets is working very well now here you can see permission since favicon.png because this file not found assets inside this reasons otherwise works here is a founds so why here not found let's go to assets inside img here is there favicon.png so let's go back again here we can check favicon.pngs let's go back again press control f5 sometimes generate the errors this reason also not found yes just clear the cache using control f5 so you can see it found okay here you say login your account enter your email and password just you can change to username to password whatever there in your side you can use it but our side is the email this reason i had a email and also i can change here like emails please enter your emails and i don't want to need like groups so just remove and here i can change name is the emails okay here also your username so i can change emails and also i can change email so simply we don't want to need like a validation same thing we are there in set password so just you can leave it directly okay let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it here like emails and password and also i don't want to need as a like invalid feedback so just remove and also you can remove here enter please enter your passwords and remember you can make like a remember it's already there we we'll use we don't want to need so just removing because of you checked so you get something so you unchecked so it's not getting something and here you can make required so is all places are required there here is the name is there email and password no will date you can remove need validation also you can remove we don't need like this classes here you can pass like action and here you can use like method is equal to post okay now we need to pass here like a cra field token so it's very simple very easy way you can do it just you can do here like a crf field okay like this otherwise you can do you have any place right so just copy paste so it's good for you let's i copy paste and i can put here okay chrf fields and you can see it let's go back again refresh the page so we can check it's working not working so it's working very well we have no issue 
now we need to create a one method as a post method our blank url is a like a blank so action is blank so means like our action also here blank so whatever url up there this is the same thing we can use a post methods okay so just go to web.php and you can copy and paste here you can change like a get to post here you can check change like auth login so we need to create a new function inside a auth controller just go to auth controller function here i can make auth login here i can make like a request dollar request and we can put here like a request all so we can check what data we are getting okay let's go back again refresh the page here and after we can fill the data like i can make like a test at the test and here is the password one two three four five and remember me also i did and i click on the login so it's working very well you can see it email you are get password you are get and remember me means on you are get now here we need to write like a auth coding like a authentication win to attempt so what we can do it here first of all we need to make remember one variable remember is equal to is not empty like a request dollar means sign go back and remember you can put so means is equal to one otherwise is equal to pass like a zero otherwise you can use like false and true i think it's better you can use like false and here you can pass like a true and after you can put like semicolon so remember man, remember me is done okay may remember whatever variable name you can provide is your side let's make a proper okay this is the variable name now here you need to use like one library like auth library because we are using the custom suppose you are using like inbuilt so we have no issue this is the auth so here what we can do if auth attempt otherwise i will copy other code so possible but i can type so you can look like a good let's copy paste so i can do it very quick because otherwise taking much time and this video is going to big you can like a pause code and you can check and here i don't ever like this functionality just remove okay so what we have did like auth attempts inside like a one array pass like email insert is a request dot email here you can see it and another thing we have passed here like a request password and remember we have passed so once you can log in so we can redirect panel dot dashboard and otherwise we are redirect to back please enter correct email and passwords so this is the authentication we have done for this coding we are checking inside a database let's go back again and press control f5 so whatever data there inside url we can understand like a recent so he's back you see login permission so here we need to show like our error message so what we can do we need to use here session and we can show because already store inside a error message so just we can use one session so just go to login and we can create a new file outside like a message dot blade dot php so anytime we need to call any message so just we need to include so first we can create a message is not empty against is not empty i will copy my other codes also good uh, and we can do it very quick this is the reason so just you can see it like a is not empty empty session is success and here showing the success message is not empty error so here showing the error message this reasons i just copy and paste so we can do it this video is very quick otherwise you can type so taking five minutes more it is not good for you not good for me okay let's go back again and here i can include this file so simple you can include like a message okay let's go back again and we can check it's not working not working i refresh the page here i can put like a admin and i just put like a login so you can see your message showing like a please enter correct email and password so means here login working very well but our database inside no any value available like email and password not available available let's create a one account inside a database means using the database table i click on the insert i just add a like admin 
I can add like admin at the red gmail dot com and here also I can provide like a password so let's create a password using the auth controller so use hash and here I can make like a dd hash make one two three four five six and let's go back again refresh the page so whatever password here showing this password we can put inside so I just copy I just add here okay now email verified at today is done and also we are shot out like created at and updated at inside a database so just click on the go so it's working very well like a uh, means record successfully enter let's comment out this code so for future we need to use so we can use it so just you can comment out okay let's go back again refresh the page here and now I will add a like admin at the gmail.com and password I will add like a 123456 means is a testing there this reasons 123456 and I just click on the login so you can see is redirect like a panel dashboard means is a login working very well no any issue you can see it here so in this video I will cover like a login theme setups means uh, whatever themes we are there we have set up and also we have shot out like a laravel set also code so next video we have set up like a dashboard and uh, after we can create one middleware and middleware again we need to show how to make a, like a his user login cannot login just we need to check using the middleware we don't want to do anything else inside we can do everything inside a permission wise like user login so what what he can access we can do it in a permission but in this video just i cover like this okay like a login screen and we have cover as a login as a authentication my custom login so do you have any question for this video so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to say like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching error solutions